What's up guys, Buster275 here doing a new video. This one is for the recently released Shark Zord and whatever you want to call them, Powered Up Red Ranger. Alright, as you can see right here I have the Shark Zord Red Ranger uh, origami paper display form and the instructions in the back. First we'll go with the instructions. These all that came in the box I opened up two weeks ago. On the bottom row there, you can see the combination with the other mechs, the Beetle and the Shark Zord, to form a new uh, Shark Wing. Basically, you take the Beetle legs off, you add it to his uh, right side, Shark. You keep it the same, just add it to his left side, and there you get the Shark Wing. Then the next row is basically him going with the Samurai Megazord. Take the front legs off, combine them, put it as a helmet. Uh, you can extend the shark blade and put it in his hand. Then you have the Megazord. Then on the top, this shows what comes with it Red Ranger removable helmet. Showing how you add the helmet on. You can put them on display on the back of the shark. And with the recently released uh, Super Mold Rangers, you can take the f top fin and back fin and put them as uh, hand weapons. Alright, now that's done out of the way. The origami that you can do the cutout, basically all the shark parts, I, I'm not intending on doing this, but you turn to a three dimensional, sh another version of the Shark Zord. I should also mention that the Shark Zord is really supposed to be a, I think it's a dinosaur, Kori Ryu, big huge thing. I'll show it to you later. But right now, just for the Shark Zord, as you can see in the instructions, you can remove the tail and the top fin. And there he is. Right here, there's a button. The f uh, neck bulbs out, whatever you want to call it, extends. He has two pegs here for hand for the auxiliary mechs. And as I said before, I don't I do not have any other samurai mechs. That's what I got instead. Mastodon arm from the 2010 release. You actually put this one on. And there you go. Shark with a fist action. either side. There goes one of the legs. I should have grabbed both but I decided not to. Just to show a quick feature. Now onto the Red Ranger. No real articulation on him like with most. Helm's removable. Actual good uh, image uh, use of Jaden. Armor is only the wrist is movable on the blade arm. And as you can see, he has the super, uh, the what do you want to call it, the super box on the blade. Head's only able to move left to right. Put the helmet back on. And as you saw before, you got to have him stand up on the shark's back. Two pegs right there. You could probably do that for most of the figures. I know Rita has two pe a peg in her shoe that you can put on top that you can push into it. If I can find, oh yeah, unlike what used to be before, the pegs in the middle of the shoe. For some reason I'm used to being in the heel. There you go. Red Ranger riding the Shark Zord. Alright, basically this thing's the same thing as the origami. Unfortunately they made it small and they took out some detail right here where, where this ring is. Supposed to be the hidden disc for Kori Ryu that spins around. You'd see the shark teeth rotating on the part right here, which would be reflective. But Bandai America cut that feature out of most things. Now, next to Kori Ryu, here's the big guy. Size for basically a kid to use as a blade. I doubt you can see it on mine, on the camera, but the hidden disc right here, if you look in the mirror, actually looks like he's uh, chomping down on something. 
If you saw the movie over the weekend for uh, the Super Red Ranger battle fight thing, you can see the blade extends out when it's fighting, but in this version it can't, in the toy version, for obvious reasons. And there's the size difference. Curry model is probably roughly about two and a half to three times bigger than the uh, little shark zord. There would be two, roughly about three times bigger. But that's also the big disadvantage of it as well. Because with the uh, shark zord, you can actually have the megazord hold it. Unlike with the Kurai where it's basically resting on the ground like this. And then the Megazord holds it in his hand. The little peg right in the back, right here. See right there, that's the peg. While well, with the Shark Zord, unfortunately, what they should have done with these back legs parts, let them slide up. You have the handle right there, you can just slide into the Megazord's hand. Which, as I said before, I do not have any of the Samurai mechs. But it's a good feature to have, but I'm probably going to end up doing. So I actually looked at this before with my uh, Samurai uh, Shin Kamen Ranger mechs. Is sand this down a little bit and you can actually fit it into the Samurai Megazord's hand. I haven't had the time to do it yet. I probably will do it during Christmas, during my Christmas vacation from work. Took a couple days off there to do assorted other things as well. But yeah, it's a nice little mech to have. As you can see, for not for differences in them. With the helmet part right here, the front legs, you can see a little bit more detail when it goes into the uh, Karai than the Samurai Shark Zord. Red stripe going right here compared to nothing and a silver stripe right here which is missing uh... they didn't bother coloring for the blade at all underneath the blade right here at the base where it would be and as i said before no hidden disc but they did add firing neck handle is a lot shorter because with the japanese version this can have to be considered a role play weapon for kids and uh, as I said before, the disc comes out. I can never remember how to though. Two little buttons right here. Then as you can see right there, there's the disc. This, the serpent or dinosaur, I, can't I can never remember which. It's chomping down. The mouth on the shark zord is opened. Compare on the Kurai, Kurai whatever, sorry, Brain fart right there is closed compared to this one being opened. And the blue that they use on the Kurayu is a little bit shinier, more reflective than the one on the Shark Sword. And again, like I said, they turned, they keep saying they turned this into a land shark. But they just called the Shark Sword because uh, sharks don't have feet, as far as I know. There's the differences. Alright. Mm, so like I said, I opened the box before I decided to do the review. But basically it comes in the same type box as everything else. One of the Octos worth I got today. If anybody wants, if you're on Ranger Board, send me a message. I'm selling it so if you can never find it in your area. Same type box. They unfortunately cut out the excess around here for the hinge in the top. Much similar to something like that. And the Red Rangers are here on the side. It's a good figure to have for either Samurai or Shinken Ranger mechs. Like I said before, and I'll be repeating it again. If you want to, when you get this, sand this down so you can actually put it in uh, Shinken o or Hail or Hail Hail's hand to use for a finishing combination. Go right ahead and do it. Alright guys, it's Richard Ranger Fan, aka Buster Street 275.
Later.